Just in time for the holiday travel season, another big merger in the airline industry. Alaska and Virgin are combining to create the nation's fifth largest airline. And Alaska isn't planning on going, you know, revenue based. Unlike American Delta and United, you will still get miles for the distance you fly. Uh, Edward Pizzarello is a travel expert and a blogger. Edward, thanks for being here on this holiday. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Good afternoon, Molly. Good to be with you. Well, let's kick things off with you. What, what does this mean for travelers? And should they switch to Alaska now? Well, it's interesting. For the first time in a while, a merger is actually probably a good thing for travelers. Alaska and Virgin had complementary networks. Uh, they're strong now in places like Seattle and California, as well as some East Coast and some middle of the country flights. And so they, they represent an ability to, to compete against the big three airlines of Delta, American, and United. And with that distance based program, it's not all about what you spend. So folks that aren't spending a ton of money on tickets may find a better home with Alaska. Now, I confess, whenever I hear about an airline merger, I always think, well, what does this mean for my points? So what does this mean <laughs> for travelers' points? Well, it, 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 at the outset, it's a good thing. Uh, Alaska and Virgin are combining. You have the ability to, uh, to move points back and forth between the two. There are even some strategic opportunities where if you have hotel points, you can, you can get bigger transfer bonuses right now while they work out the details. Uh, your points are all safe. You know, you know, everything you have isn't going away. And you can still take advantage of uh, partnerships that Alaska has with American, uh, even Delta, for a few more months before that partnership ends, where it, it may sound odd, but you're flying on American or Delta, and your best bet may be crediting to Alaska because you'll get more points or miles that you can use for the future. So your points are safe. You said some magic words there. Yeah. Um, what, happens, what happens next? What's Alaska doing right here as the transition's going on? Well, there are a couple interesting things that they, they did right away. They, they really want to own California, so they've already rolled out a few uh, new routes out of California going to popular destinations like Orlando. And they're also working on making award redemptions cheaper. So now, uh, you know, as little as 5,000 miles in the Alaska program can get you to over 100 different destinations that they fly. So I think they're trying to encourage folks to, to stay loyal and to show them that, hey, you don't need a lot of travel with us, paid travel with us, to get something free from us, trying to build that bond, if you will. Is there a way for travelers to actually take advantage of this? Can they uh, do something as this merger is going on to take, to take the best measures and get the most out of this? Yeah, I think if you're if you're a frequent business traveler, you know, flying a, a combination of American, Delta, and and, uh, and Alaska, you can actually get some of those benefits. We say like back to the yesteryear, back when you used to be able to get things like uh, you know free upgrades and lounge access, things that Alaska still offers that that maybe the other guys are, are charging you for now. And you know, if you've got points in the program, Alaska has some some really good redemption options. Uh, a lot of different places that you can get internationally. They have a bunch of international partners. British Airways, Cafe Pacific, uh, Qantas, so you can see the world using those Alaska miles. Uh, that's interesting you mention the business travelers. Now, a lot of people don't travel a lot for business. So for somebody that doesn't travel a whole lot but wants to maybe go on that big international trip, is this something to look at? I think so, too. Specifically, too, if you're only traveling occasionally on paid tickets, Alaska is going to give you more miles for those flights. So for starters, you're building up more miles quickly, which is great. And then because they have so many different partners, one of the other great things for the, the occasional traveler is that for a, a good number of the awards that Alaska has for international travel, they don't charge fuel surcharges on those awards, which is one of the ways that the big carriers sort of get some of that money back from you. So for the occasional traveler, building up some Alaska miles can be a great way to get overseas, whether it's a, you know, once in a lifetime time trip to, to Sydney or going to Japan. I, I think it's a great option for the occasional traveler. All right. Thank you so much, Edward Pizzarello. Lots of people talking about travel now. Thank you.